It's the 40 Club, celebration of life Didn't think I'd make 20, but I made it twice I made it twice, that's right, I made it twice Didn't think I'd make 20, but I made it twice It's the 40 Club, yeah. celebration of life okay. Didn't think I'd make 20, but I made it twice I'm just glad to be here You already know what we did, man Alright, alright, so now We back on the coach show we back on the coach show, bitches. And I done put, I done changed hats. Now I'm talking shit for the coats. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, I'm telling what? you. No, no, nigga. You on the other side of the door. You ain't, you ain't on our shit. No. Uh-uh. I'm talking we about, know. I'm in football now. I'm in football land now, man. I done changed, we done changed the game. This is the coach show. All right. It's the coach show. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So now we, we need you to tell us and break down because you know you more football intelligent than I am to tell us what the fuck happened yesterday. Is Brissett better than Mahomes? Am I, is, is my eyes telling me that? Uh, actually, I don't think it, it didn't boil down to Brissett. Brissett managed the game as good as you can manage the game. What happened to the Chiefs was their defense is fucking trash, okay? They can't stop the run. We ran that motherfucker all down their throat. We, we punished them. We bullied them. That's what happened. We bullied them on defense. We bullied them on offense. We punked them. That's what happened. We shut them up. Yeah. Y'all think y'all do all that flashy shit? We're going to hit you right in your mouth. Offensive, <laughs> offensive line was bulldozed. Defensive line was bullying them. We were bullied. We were bullied. That's what happened. Man, but you want to know what I Listen, seen? You know what I time seen? Time of possession. Listen, time of the ball possession. Okay? Mm-hmm. By running the ball, you kept that offense off kilter. They didn't have a lot of time on the field. A lot of three and out, and the Colts dominated them on the run. You know, they, look at the balls of the Colts. You want to know what I seen, though? I seen a motherfucker updated Bob Sanders. A motherfucking, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they got some motherfucking pass rushers on the motherfucking Colts. Oh, yeah. Uh, Justin Nuts, the local terrain who got hurt that game, fuck, acted a fool. That boy was every play. Man, that nigga look like... Defense. Hey, you look like somebody I created. Right. <laughs> oh, man. That damn defense was having none of that shit. And they're off of the line. And Marlon Mack, what can you say about Marlon Mack? The best fucking running back in the league. Man, the nigga carried some people Get with him. 134 yards on the ground. The Colts rush 180 yards on the ground. Between Jordan Wilkins, Naheem Hines, Jacoby Brissett. We out there killing, man. Yeah, that's why I said let me talk my shit for the Colts this time because just like the Lakers in the NBA, the Colts going to be a motherfucking problem for the NFL. Damn right. You see it, too. I've uh, been calling it. I've been calling it ever since them little pre Hey, look, ever since them preseason games. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes don't lie. Hey, look, my eyes don't lie, man. I just did. Hey, look, I got three motherfucking I told you so shows today. I told you so about the Lakers. Told you so about the Colts. And I told you so about Takashi 6 9 going to be home before this year is up. All right. Man, that game was so telling. Um, see, that's playoff football, though, right? So the Colts in the playoffs are going to be a bad team. As the year progresses, and they get more and more. You know, okay, first of all, you know what this what a block building this is for the ego of the coach right now? They arguably beat the best team in the league. Number so, one offense. Right, between them and the Patriots. So, who, who, I mean, when you beat the best team in the league, I mean, who are you really afraid of? The Patriots. You know what I mean? Hey, look, the Patriots. Like the level, hey, look, right? so the, the Patriots. Like, <laughs> who are you about at this point? We just beat the fucking Chiefs. We beat their ass. All the shit they was doing on y'all, they do shit to us. And the Colts went from zone to man coverage. <laughs> they switched game plan. See, I can't go back and forth with you because I don't know football like that. So it sounded like they did well, some fancy shit. They just <laughs> well, what they did was they tricked their bitch ass. They thought they were going to come in the cover two zone, which is normally what they play. They went to man. And they locked them motherfuckers down. Uh-huh. They only rushed, four, they only rushed the, uh, the, uh, the front four on the D-line. And they were getting pressure on the quarterback. Well, when you can rush the, only have to rush the front four, you don't have to stay stuck blitzes with your linebackers. You don't have to do corner blitzes with your corners and that other shit. Then that leaves all your other players to play defense. Do y'all hear this, America? You got to appreciate this, this kind of – y'all got to appreciate this kind of damn breakdown because all I'm going to tell you is, hey, I seen a motherfucker from the side come in on quarterback <laughs> and he had to hurry up and get rid of the damn ball. But this man is teaching you fucking football at the same damn time as you're listening and catching up to your sports. 
Go you know, ahead, right. man. I just had to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. And this is how, so this game was won in the trenches. So you run. we won this game because our offensive line was dominating. Our defense dominated their offense. That's how we won, man. We bullied them. Kansas, you hear me? We can bully y'all. So <laughs> at the end of the day, we now that we know that we're that type of team, fuck, we don't have to pass the ball a thousand times. We can run this motherfucker straight down at down your throat and dare you to stop it. Look, do you see the coach going for on third and fourth down? You not see them? They ran the ball. They didn't care. They said, we're better than you. We're stronger than you. We will bully our way. We'll get our first down whatever we want. And they did it every time. And what that tells you, what that sends the message to the other team is, okay, they're not scared. Man. They have the upper hand. So that's what happened. That's, that's what happened to Kansas. It's hey, not a big. They gave them no respect. Like, motherfucker, y'all can't stop no run. And and Kansas, we're going to come to your field, and we're going to bully you motherfuckers all up and down the field all day long. All day long. You're going to make them take it personal. <laughs> hey, look! I hate to lose and listen to this damn show. This nigga right here, and they be like, "Man, this nigga right here, though, man. Why you gotta say it like that?" <laughs> right. I, man, I just give it to you wrong. We punched them in the mouth. We beat them up. You know what I mean? They cowered. They cowered out, and they got bullied the entire game. That's exactly what happened. All right. So what happened to them cowboys, though, man? What happened to the <laughs> damn? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, look, what happened to them is they're pathetic. That's what happened to them. I thought they was good this year. Man, they always do good when they're beating nobody. What did I tell y'all? As soon as y'all play some good teams, some playoff teams, you're going to lose. Your first three wins was against Bub Squad, the Dolphins. I don't know who else you lost, but they were all bumped. Now, you play the Saints, and then you play the Packers, and you lose back-to-back games. That's not a coincidence. It just tells you who they really are. That That Prescott is a game manager. He's not worth anything okay he was he was throwing passes that were so bad yesterday i was like what the fuck is he doing he clearly can't hit anybody unless they're wide open like five yards of separation like if if he has to throw in tight windows he cannot make those passes he cannot he is not that guy so when zeke is not having a good day on the ground and they can't run then the cowboys are the most vulnerable team in the league because if you have to rely on Dak Prescott to win football games, they're going to lose 90% of the time because he cannot make accurate throws. He can't. I watched it yesterday. I watched him miss hella targets, sail the ball over people's head. I mean, he is not good throwing that ball, man, at all. So, Cowboys aren't good at all. I mean, we're going to watch them continue to lose. At best, they'll be maybe 9-7 and seven this year. So, will they, eight, will they make the playoffs? I don't know. They suck. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they play all these losing teams. They're gonna make it, but they play teams that are actually have an offense and a defense. They're not. They don't. They're not that good. They're overrated. Okay, they're the most overrated team in the league. To say they're gonna be in the playoffs and they're gonna do this and that. I mean, that's just crazy. Because all right, let's say they got rest bum teams and they make it to the playoffs. Are they out first? Absolutely. They got the formula to beat the Cowboys. Stack the box and make Dak Prescott beat you. And he can't. He can't. If you have a good defense, you can stop the run. Any team that can stop the Dallas Cowboys run will beat them. Period. Point blank, period. Dak ain't throwing for no 400 yards, five touchdowns on a normal basis against a good team. He's going to get picked, he's going to get sacked, and he makes bad decisions. So, he ain't doing none of that shit. Well, there you have it in a nutshell. Shit. I mean, it sucks. <laughs> hey, look, it sucks to be a Cowboys fan right now, fucking down. <laughs> yeah, it does. Because they overhyped themselves, man. They believe in bullshit. Y'all know that quarterback is trash. You know what I mean? Y'all know he ain't going to bring you no. If they shut Zeke down, then y'all know y'all done. Y'all know y'all bottom. You so, know he's not going to be able to win the game. So you saying that they get a, if they get a, a better quarterback, then they have a chance or just another quarterback? Well, yeah, they need another quarterback. They need someone who can make throws when their defense is stopped. So, I mean, so if they stop it more on the back, we can rely on Jacoby Brissett to throw the ball and help us win. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Against good teams. This has been proven. He's done it already this year. We've played good teams. We just beat up one of the best teams in the league against a test. Okay? They, on the other hand, they can't, they can't stop a good team with a good defense. And they got shredded. A good quarterback, a cerebral quarterback, will shred. He'll shred their defense. So I don't. I people say, "Oh, you're a cowboy hater." No, I'm not. Y'all suck. I'm just a cowboy realist. Y'all not good. 
Y'all stop walking around so, here so you don't hate him. So you don't hate him. No. But do you hate LeBron? Absolutely. All right, okay, I believe you now. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so, so they that boys, so they suck that damn bad. Against the upper echelon teams, yes. Their rank in the power ranking is foolish. They're not that good, okay? They're not that good. You can't rank them above the Colts when the Colts just beat the fucking Chiefs and held the motherfuckers to 13 points. And these motherfuckers have lost two in a row to good teams. Ain't beat nobody. Nobody. I mean, what's there to say? They lose to a backup quarterback in the Saints, but the Saints got a good defense they lose. They lose to Green Bay, who has a good defense. They get wiped out. I don't know what they, hey, it's the eye test. Damn. If it quack like a duck, walk like a duck, it must be a duck. I mean, so these motherfuckers are a duck. I mean, they are what they are. Average. That's it. Well, there you have it, folks. The motherfucking Dallas Cowboys is average, and... The motherfucking Colts are in. Hey, no, Dallas Cowboys are out and the Colts are in. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So, we're going to wrap that all up. We out. Go ahead and shout out to Jim. Join KEL Fitness, 7106, Short Terrace Drive, Indianapolis, Indiana. Come check us out, man. Get fit, Indy. Let's go, Colts. We out. I'm